The Ministry of Works has launched a comprehensive national coastal monitoring program aimed at targeting and addressing the issue of coastal erosion across Trinidad and Tobago. At the launch of the event, Line Minister Rohan Sinanan said the project will use scientific data to allow coastal managers to be better equipped to identify, document and provide relevant information to inform sustainable shoreline management decisions. Modern human activities including farming and construction have removed or disrupted nature's protection, greatly accelerating erosions like the, like the disasters that occurred in Cedrus, as well with the acceleration of global warming, which has caused the ice cap to melt and raise the level of the sea. Coastal erosion have moved up the list of priority areas for our attention. Director of the Coastal Protection Unit, Candace Gray Bernard, gave a breakdown of some of the areas being affected by coastal erosion. Between 1994 and 2007, the Institute of Marine Affairs would have recorded about 150 meters retreat at Coral Point. On the southeast coast of Trinidad in the Guayaguari area, an estimated 2.5 meters per year between 1993 and 1996. And currently, the Ministry of Works and Transport is conducting a study in Manzanilla, and we're measuring erosion rates of about 0.65 to 1.52 meters per year. It would take at least $70 million to repair the coastal damage done to Pigeon Point Beach and Grange Bay in Tobago. This from the THA's Secretary of Infrastructure, Quarries and the Environment, Councillor Kwesi Devines. Mr. Devines said since 1993, several meters of the iconic treasures in Tobago have been eroded due to climate change and other factors. He said at least 80% of the population in Tobago live in coastal zone areas. From 1993 to present, We've lost almost 26 meters of beach at, at Pigeon Point, at the western end of Pigeon Point. Pigeon Point, one of our iconic beaches, the mainstay, one of the staples of our tourism industry, is under serious threat.